My name's Norman Johnston. I'm the balance of plant manager for Thistlewind Partners. I'm currently on the, the back deck of the main port Geo in Aberdeen Harbour on quite a nice sunny day. Hello, I am Romain Dupré. I'm the project manager for GTEC. Uh, so we are the main contractor for TWP Great Project. The vessel is currently preparing for going offshore to go and do our geophysical surveys on our two offshore wind farms, uh, Air, which is uh, off the east coast of Orkney, uh, and Bowden, which is off the east coast of Aberdeenshire, down about Stonehaven. We have uh, various pieces of equipment on the back deck of the vessel, which we're just going to go through and explain. This is what gets towed behind the vessel and is used to detect objects in the seabed and the terrain of the seabed. This here, though, is something else. Could you explain what this device here does in relation to the operation? Yes, so that's a USB beacon that's just used in order to position it the side scan above the seabed because that object needs to be well located, which is used by that tool. And that tool is communicated with a USB transducer, and that one is communicating in delta X and delta Y. So basically the vessel, the position of the vessel is very well known by all the GPS system. This is a compensation for all the pitch, the hull and the eave of the vessel. Okay, so we know where the boat is through GPS. We know where this transponder here is based on the vessel and the communications. This then detects what's in the seabed and through that we then work out where everything is in relation to the vessel. Exactly. This piece of equipment here is the magnetometer, I believe. Yes. Um, it also gets towed behind the vessel and is used as part of the survey. Can you just explain what this is used for? Yeah, so the magnetometer are tools which are measuring the magnetic field around it. So it's a passive equipment, so it does not emit any sound, it's just measuring it. Any ferrous object has a magnetic field around it and that will seal the one we identified. So basically, we can identify any object on the seabed and maybe up to two meters below the seabed. That tool will fly between six and four meters above the seabed in order to identify those objects. And that allows us to identify chain, nets, potential luxo, which might be an obstruction for the construction or for the safety of the people. Yeah. So the, the unexploded ordnance is something that we're obviously quite keen to avoid. Yes. And we do have some geotechnical surveys which will be following on on from this. So we need to detect any metal objects like UXO on the seabed. 